Hello and welcome to my channel. Test-driven development is a very important approach to take daily and the continuous testing support introduced in version 2 of Quarkus allows developers to take advantages of this practice. In this video, you are going to learn how to use TDD approach with Quarkus. Let's start and follow my steps. Before I begin, I check the Java and Maven have been successfully installed in my machine. Once this is done, I'm going to create a new Quarkus project using the version 2.5.3. I'm going to enter all the information like the group ID, the artifact ID, and all the dependencies that I need. Good. Now I position myself within the project where all the files are present. I'm going to run it in development mode. As you can see with the version 2 of Quarkus, we have at our disposal the continuous testing. Here you can choose the three options, click on R, O, O, H. Now I open the browser on localhost 8080 slash dev. This is a new feature introduced in Quarkus 2, which provide all the informations about the project. For example, also the config editor, where I can edit the configuration and all the bins within the project. If I go to the test part, I can see in green that all tests has been passed. Now let's modify the project in such a way as to add feature using the TD approach. In the project, as you can see, there is only the book resource class and of course the book resource test class. I first delete everything that was generated during the creation of the project and then I go to insert tests because I want to create this feature for my project. The first feature is get books. I create a new endpoint using the path slash books, which return the complete list of the books. Obviously, the status code must be 200, and in the body, I want to check both the size of the list and the two books. For each book, I check both the ID and the title of the book. I put, for example, the Lord of the Rings with the ID 1, and then I go to insert another book, for example, Harry Potter with ID 2. Perfect. Let's go now to write another test because I want to implement the get book by ID as well. So a new endpoint that given an ID, this returns the information of the book. So again, in this case, I use slash books and one as ID. Obviously, as status code, I expect 200 and as body, only a book with ID one and title and title Lord of the Rings. In the end, I write a test where I will not find any book for a specific ID. For example, get book by ID not found. In this case, I expect to get a, a response with a status code not found, meaning 404. Great, now let's move to the console and we can see that the tests have not passed. If we also go to the dev UI by doing a refresh, we see all the free tests, which two of these are not passed. So let's start the implementation to see this test pass. First of all, I create the book object. 
for the book object, I'll simply create a Java bin with two fields, the ID and title. Once this is done, I move inside the book resource and go to implement all the methods that I need to pass my tasks. So the first thing will be the get books. This will be a get endpoint that will produce a media type application JSON and return an object of type response. Obviously, this has to give me back a list of books. So I'm going to create my own list of books. It will be a list of books where I will insert just the two books. The first book will be the Lord of the Rings with ID 1 and the second book that I decide to have will be Harry Potter with ID 2. So the get books, what is going to do? It will return this list inside a response object with the status code, okay, meaning 200. Now I save the file and I open the dev UI where I can see that the get books test is correctly passed. Now let's implement the get book by D in the same way. Obviously, in this case, here I have to specify the path with the ID. And what I'm going to do, I must take the ID parameter and look for the book. I use a lambda expression to search for the book inside the list. When I find it, I return it through the response object with the status code 200. Otherwise, I will return the response with the status code not found. Good, let's move to the dev UI and see that all tests has been passed correctly. Now I want to refactor the code by inserting a new Java book service class that will be used within the books resource. It will be of type application scope and inside I put the list of books that I no longer want to keep inside the book resource. Now I have to create the get books and get book by the method. Get books will return the list of books and inside it I go to simply do the return of the books. While as for the get book by D, this will return an optional type of book of type books and of course given as a parameter the ID I have to look for the book through the, the lambda expression that uh, I wrote before. Perfect. Now I'm going to first use the book service I just created and of course I'm going to use the methods. Perfect, all tests work correctly. What I want to do now, I want to test the book service. This time here, I'm going to, to write the test after that I did the implementation. In this case, I created the book service test class where I will write the pretest. In the first test, I'm going to test the get book method, checking the size of the book list and also each book inside the list. In the second test, I'm going to test the get book by the method, checking the content of the book with ID 1. In the end, the get book by the not found test. Now, as you can see inside the dev UI, all tests are in green. You can check the same result inside the console. The source code of this video you can find inside my GitHub repository. Feel free to clone it. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.